All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 650. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who's also only available for a limited time, Wombat. Yep, I die in March 2021. <laughs> I'm glad you got that reference. Yeah. Uh, yep. Thank you. No problem. We're all here for a limited time. Yep. And we should be wasting it <laughs> listening and creating podcasts. I'm going to survive the whole <laughs> pandemic and then die instantly from the vaccine. Right. Isn't that how it works? No. Wow, what are you doing? That is depressing that everybody. Much, is that a bummer? You're depressing everybody. It's way too early in the show to depress everybody. You need to <laughs> wait at least until a 15-minute mark. <laughs> I wanted to stay on brand. Right. Good. That's good. Shipwreck, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm, good? I'm doing pretty good, I think. I don't know. how. I'm not really sure, actually. <laughs> I think I'm, no, I'm good. No, I, it's day by day, right? Right. I think I would be doing a lot better once the gym starts opening. I'm having a hard time exercising, and it makes me, me too. Right, but you, but that's that's just the status quo. That's, the pandemic hasn't changed anything. If anything, it's made you feel better about yourself. The pandemic, because now everybody's I, doing the same thing as you. Yeah, I don't know if it's made me feel better about myself, but <laughs> not worse. Not worse. Um. So yeah, so, I feel so are like, you are you back week one when Orange Theory opens up here? That's the problem. That's it sucks. It sucks. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's not good. It's not a you good. You know situation. what? You're you're in you're in good shape. You have How do no you know what kind of shape I am? All you can see is my head. Basically, I'm wearing a black know you like tarp. Better than you know Look, you can't even see anything. So you're saying he should just go get COVID? No, <laughs> like, I think that I don't think he has much to worry about. I had ribs but, for lunch. But he's there. still going to get COVID. He is, might. Is what you're wanting him to do. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Just just making sure. Shh. No, I th- I think uh, I I wouldn't go to the gym until it's yeah. there's a vaccine. The, uh, what is it? The JCC is open. That has a gym. That gym is open. Orange Theory is open. You but you have to wear a mask and they can they're only open at uh 30 you know i know i looked through the schedule nobody's going so i'm sure if i went like i could have like half the fucking place to myself would you go like in new york it's like pretty the virus is pretty like oh well there's been spikes ever since college started but, but not here no i we could get had, in a couple uh, weeks is what i'm saying yeah. i feel like i could get in a couple weeks i think you theory. have to wait until the school thing levels out and levels then... Levels. Explodes, you mean? Skyrockets? I'm tr- I'm trying to be hopeful. For those who don't know, school started in New York this week. Uh, my kids went to school. I believe your son went to school as well. He did not. He did not. Next week. Oh, he's next week. But he's going. He's going twice a week. Okay. There's yeah. twice, a, twice a week in school, twice a week online, and then there's this one mystery day that... Mm. It's like Wednesday is the mystery day. School wherever you want. It's like, so you, yeah, it's the follow-up day. Is, is it like jury duty where you get a call the night before if you have to go in? I think it's like it's up to you to find your learning path on that day, I feel. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, it's just too much. I just sort your of – learning don't, path. Okay, I don't know. I'm weird. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm just making – that's not the marketing materials that the school handed out. I understand. I mean, for, for my daughter, it's red day, blue day, and it's either you have school twice a week or you have school three times a week because it's, it alternates. Well, and this week, she only had school today, and that's it, and she doesn't have school again until Tuesday. That's weird. It was super weird. I don't know how they're doing it either. She went in today. Uh, it, it's Pods? They're different. doing Pods. Yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, Elliot has school every day. His class is down to a class size of fourteen. That's the whole class. Right, right. The desks are like isolated little islands. They have to wear masks all day, and they have these plastic <laughs> barricades that like circle them when they're sitting at their desks. Why don't they get those inflatable balls? Everybody gets their own ball. And... Well, I, it's, I mean, I'll be honest. It's That's gym class. It could be worse. There is no more gym. The gym teacher walks in, and they had to do a writing assignment for gym. That would have been my dream in school. I, I got to be too. honest. If I'm being completely honest, like high school me 
would have loved this situation because it would have removed like all the anxiety of having to, you know, go to the prom. Like I was basically praying for a pandemic to come when prom, it was prom time. Well, I mean, I don't know. I know that's some not social interaction is always nice. You had some friends. Yeah, I, I did, like the but... idea of not having. I like the idea of not having to worry about going to the next classroom and listening for the bell. Like you sit at your desk and that's right. your desk all day. The school comes to you. The school comes to you, which was what I was saying, you know, like a year ago. Like, I hope there's no reason to be moving these students around in the schools. Well, they get a little exercise and they have, yeah, right. I don't there's, know, there, is, there reason. are reasons. There's reasons to do it. Well, there's, there's recess and gym for that. <laughs> Not well, no Well, some of these reasons. kids take different different level classes and have different courses. Not anymore. <laughs> we're, we're completely remote. Like we had the choice whether or not to send or do remote. Yeah. We didn't do this half, half and half thing. Right. Um, I think we have a choice too. Okay. Yeah. We could have done completely remote, but the kids were getting so depressed being yeah, home, yeah, especially have... Sabrina. Yeah. She just, she needs to see people. Right. And, uh, and you know, what? Uh, I don't know. Our, my school keeps showing up on the news. We were on the news yesterday and the day before. They keep showing us as the look at ever. This is the right way to do it. And I feel like you're just jinxing my schools by doing that every day. ABC, stop that. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, yeah, of course, they, they're, just, they're just basically checking in on you. Yeah. They're establishing a baseline. Okay. We're starting with these guys. Let's see how they fuck it up. And then we'll be right there to swoop in. Mm. We'll know where all the best angles are because we've been here a few times before. It'll be great. <sighs> it might be okay. It seems like I it's... Yeah, it might. I, people in New York, from what I've seen around me and you know, around where I live in, in Long Island and in New York City, people are very careful. They wear masks even when they're outside. Even what, you know, not they're, nobody's like, you know, everybody's social distanced. I feel like it could work out. I hope so. I mean, my kids went to camp all summer. They went every day, five days a week. There were zero cases of COVID in the seven weeks. Zero. Because they had the rules were so incredibly strict, but everyone followed them. That's good. Mm -hmm. We're winning. Sorry, I'm going to hit the control panel here. What are you doing? I'm making sure everything. You're not working. paying attention. Pay I'm attention listening. To Pay attention Enough. to me. Right, I I heard you. Uh, so everything everything will be all right, everybody. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, and to respond <laughs> to the hand people, the handful of people that said it in the comments, thank you. I am feeling much better this week. That's than good. Last week. Yeah, I mean, if I like high school me, they told me, oh, there's no gym class. Do you think I was gonna be like I'd be upset? Oh, there's would, no gym no, class. Had, like, oh, I was the 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 nerd that got a get out of gym free pass from the. Because I was president of the AV club. Okay. We so don't want I, his hands getting injured because he's got to uh, put the no, tapes I got, in the VCRs. No, I had the, uh, the <laughs> teacher that was the teacher advisor for it. He gave me a, an unlimited pass to be able to say I need to get out of this class to go work on an editing project for like the video yearbook or whatever nonsense I wanted to make up. So like when See, it came I, time I, to... Run the mile, you would just hand the pass in. Like, I would hand the in. pass to Did Mr. Did you do that? Malo. Literally do that? Yeah, I would hand the pass to Mr. Malo and you'd go, What is this? What, what is, is this, this knocked? What is this? What is this bullshit? Yeah. What is this bullshit? Exactly. It's bullshit. You know, you, you need it. to be more like, you need to be more like your brother. Your brother never skipped out on gym. He used to say that to me. Speaks the man, seems to speak the truth. It speaks the truth. And then <laughs> I would go, Adios. <laughs> you make a lot of good points, Coach. Yes, but I'll you know, good, out of this you know, editing project. I gotta, I gotta do it. It's not Deadlines. gonna do it itself. This is literally the exact opposite of my feelings on PE, where everything was like, "Why are we actually gonna exercise in here, or what? what? What's the point of this? Why are we playing this mediocre brand of kickball here?" Oh, it's, I remember getting very sweaty, and nobody took showers. Nobody. No, we didn't do that. Either. Nobody. We had showers, but nobody ever took showers. I don't and think I, you had to run the mile. I run, you had to run the mile in se- in seven and a half minutes. Of course, you're going to be sweaty. I don't care what kind of shape you're in. Just, you're going to be well. Some sweat. There will be sweat. No, you didn't sweat when you ran the mile. I was uh, dying. I was dying. I'm I'm sure I sweat a little bit, but not much at that point. Like, if, yeah, if I went and ran a mile in seven and a half minutes right now. No, I, I'm not asking. I know that. Right. 
<laughs> no, I mean, I you know, we got at least I had a change of clothes, but it's a bad situation. And of course, I never could do it. Never even came close. But luckily, they made me try over and over again where I could just continually fail. Uh, anyway, how about something uplifting? We're doing, uh, we're raising money for charity. The That's children's... Uplifting. What's that? That's uplifting. It is. It is uplift, uplifting. The uh, the Children's Tumor Foundation contacted us and asked if we would raise money and awareness to their to their foundation. That's which, a great cause. Please donate. Which, in fact, was started. It was founded by uh, one of Mrs. Cheapy's uh, colleagues. It was uh, he was he didn't find found it, but it was founded on his behalf when he when he was a child. He's the child in the uh, <laughs> Children's Tumor Foundation. Anyway, you can check out the website if you do um, uh, exclamation point charity in the chat. You can get all the details how to donate, and you can see your name pop up on on stream. Be pretty exciting. Well, but you should do that when you get bored. When I we don't start have talking about some, open. what's that? I don't have the stream open. Any excuse. Any yep. excuse. Yeah, I don't like people. 